Hey everybody, this is a uh, tutorial on how to use the flight director, the basic modes. A lot of people think that the autopilot is um, uh, deals with uh, a lot of these different uh, issues and all that, but um, one of the is things I think that's important to understanding the autopilot and the flight director system is by looking at um, a couple different things. One, when we actually make an input on the autopilot guidance panel on the center console, uh, we return the autopilot on, go into heading mode, nav mode, something like that. We would, uh, we really want to start to think about that we're actually controlling the flight director, and the autopilot is following the flight director. So that's one big key difference: is that the flight directors are pink uh, chevrons here, and the autopilot will follow wherever the pink chevrons go. So the best way to do this, to under, make some understanding, is by actually um, doing some hand flying and turning the flight director off and actually seeing what's going on. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the autopilot off, and I'm going to reference this area up here as the scoreboard. Um, it's really important to understand what your scoreboard reads. Right now it says GPS, AP, ALT, 6500, and VPATH. This is a lot of great stuff. But we can understand exactly where the airplane is going, where the flight director is taking the autopilot, or trying to take us when we're hand flying. So uh, understanding this is going to be incredibly important. The best part about this is that it's also a universal, uh, a universal uh, uh, nomenclature. So if you were to go into a 747 and go up front uh, and get a tour of the cockpit, crossing the Atlantic, you'd be able to go look in the same spot on the PFD and see GPS, AP, ALT, uh, 6,500, you're probably going to be at 36,000 feet, something like that. So the sooner you understand this, you'll be able to understand every scoreboard, every, um, every you know, not, uh, know how to operate a lot of different autopilots. So it's, this is not just Garmin or Cirrus specific. This is standard across all, a lot of different avionics uh, path. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the autopilot. There we go. Now I'm hand flying the airplane. Cool. This is great. I'm going to reference this guy over here as the bullseye. This is basically a flight path angle. You'll be able to see that we have a tailwind, or excuse me, a headwind and a crosswind that's pushing us this way. So the tip of the yellow chevron represents our nose of the aircraft, but the wind is pushing us and we're actually kind of crabbing or, or flying at, a, at an angle across the ground. That's what our, our bullseye is. So I'm going to go ahead. We're here at 6,500 feet. I'm going to go ahead and turn on uh, a couple different um, uh, things to switch fuel tanks. Fuel pumps on. That's good. Fuel pumps off. Great. All right, cool. So uh, my autopilot or flight guidance panel on the center console, I'm going to hit the FD button. Look what happens. We're in roll and pit mode with ALTS. Whenever we turn on the F, hit the flight director button on the guidance panel in the center console, the flight director, the pink chevrons pop up, and it just takes a picture of whatever pitch attitude we're at, and it's going to try to hold that. So right now we're in roll mode and pitch mode, and it's going to try what here in white means altitude select. So as soon as we get down to 1,700 feet, the flight director is going to try to hold us at um, uh, uh, 1,700 feet, but uh, we're going to ignore that for the time being. So if I were in a pitch-up climb like this, and I were to hit flight director, the FD button, look at that. And I start pulling up. So whenever I hit the button, it tries to take a picture of wherever we're at, and... Uh, and it's going to try to hold us on that until we tell it to do something different. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and hit the FD button or the autopilot disconnect button to cancel out the flight director again. Cool. All right, so I'm going to bring us back on course a little bit, and we're going to try what I call some of the basic modes. So we're going to be on heading mode. So, the first thing I'm going to do is sync up my uh, heading bug by pushing the heading knob in on our guidance panel and center knob. So we're at 0 two, zero two three heading. If I hit heading on our, our flight director or our guidance panel, now look at our scoreboard. It's telling us to maintain 
our desired selected heading, which was 023. It's going to take whatever picture. We haven't given a, a, a pitch input, either climb or descend at a vertical speed or anything like that. And uh, it's going to try to hold us on uh, 023. So if I start turning to the left, the flight director is going to start commanding me to turn to the right. And we're in heading mode. So if I go wings level here, you can see the flight director is trying to turn, command me to a, a right-hand turn back to our selected heading of 023. So I'll come back here. I'm going to try to follow the flight director. And it's starting to level me out. And it's going to try to hold me on a heading of 023. So that's kind of nice. So let's say air traffic control said turn left to heading 330. I'm going to select the knob first, wait for the command of the flight director to turn us, and then I'm going to follow it to the left. Now, in this left-hand turn, I'm going to uh, I'm controlling the the yellow, which is basically me hand flying, and I'm just trying to tuck the yellow chevrons in right underneath the flight director. There it goes, getting close to my heading. The flight director is commanding a rollout which is great, and it's going to try to hold me on heading 330. I overshot a little bit, so it's going to turn me back to the right. Now, if air traffic control tells me to turn to heading 360, uh, we'll go ahead and twist it to 360. Watch the flight director command a heading to the right. We're in heading mode, and it's going to roll me off on heading 360. Great. Now, here's another thing. Let's say uh, uh, air traffic control says now, dis fly heading 360, descend and maintain uh, 6,000 feet. So what I'm going to do here is select 6,000 feet in our altitude select. And now, uh, I, on my guidance panel, I like to des descend in vertical speed mode. So right now, I'm going to hit vertical speed. Now our scoreboard reads vertical speed, zero feet per minute. It's the blue target right here on the vertical speed indicator. Uh, the flight director is going to try to hold me at a vertical speed mode of zero. So it's basically level flight. So I want to actually descend. So I'm going to take the wheel on the guidance panel, and I'm going to pitch down to 500 feet per minute. You can see that the flight director is trying to have me pitch forward to command a descent. So I'm going to take a little power out. Number 5-9 Golf, descend to maintain 4,000. Pitch forward. 5-9 Golf, leaving 6 for 4. And tuck the flight direct, or tuck the yellow chevrons and hand flying right underneath uh, the pink chevrons. This is going to be in vertical speed 500 feet per minute until we get to 6,000 feet, which is ALTS, altitude selected, which is 6,000 feet. Take a little bit more power out here. Now, if air traffic control said turn right heading 090, I can turn right to 090 here. Flight director is commanding a descending turn to the right. And now we're tucked right underneath. We're looking really good. This is going to roll me to heading 090, try to keep me uh, on heading 090. And once I get close to uh, 6,000 feet, 200 above, we're going to hear a little chime. And the next thing I'm going to be looking for is ALTS to kick out vertical speed. Go green. Overshot it just a little bit. It's all right. 5421, There's the chime. I'm 200 feet. Our selected altitude is starting to flash. I should start to see when I get uh, within 50 feet or so, depending on my descent rate, ALTS kick out uh, vertical speed. This will go green, and then you'll start to see ALT 600, or 6,000, excuse me. All right, any second now? ALT now is highlighted, meaning it's an altitude hold mode of 6,000 feet. The flight director is going to command a level off in order to try to maintain 6,000 feet in heading 090.
Now let's say air traffic control said climb maintain 6,500. I can go ahead now and select 6,500 in my altitude window by using the altitude select knob, and I want to climb at 120 knots. So I'm going to go into an indicated airspeed climb. I always climb in indicated airspeed and descend in vertical speed. So I'm going to go ahead and hit IAS, or in indicated airspeed mode, and it's going to try to climb us at 146 knots. That's what, when we pressed the button, we were at 146 knots. But I want to actually slow down, pitch for 120 knots, and you'll start to see the flight director is trying to initi have me initiate a climb, so I slow down to 120 knots. So I just keep following the flight director. See how it's trying to slow me down to 120 knots right now, but it's also caused me to climb. I like to climb in IAS because it prevents me from stalling if the autopilot's on, which is really great. So I'm going to come up here. Oh, it's 200 to go. You'll hear a chime when that reads 6,300. 200 feet from our selected altitude. ALTS, altitude select, is in white, meaning that's the standby, that's the armed mode. And that should go, that's the thing it's waiting to do next. So when we get close to 6,500 feet, altitude select and hold at 6,500 feet is going to come on. Flight director's pitching me down, commanding it to, uh, to lower the nose to keep the bullseye, right, uh, the wings of the bullseye going right through this white line, which is the horizon. Which basically Chicago keeps us, us nice and level. Cool. What I want to try to do is actually trim this uh, hand fly, and uh, I can trim so that the the yellow chevrons with very little effort hand flying actually are in here. So let's say air traffic control one more time said fly heading 180, descend and maintain 6,000. I can turn to right to 180, and then six, set 6,000 first. I'm going to go into heading mode, which we're already in, and vertical speed down 500 feet. Now I'm going to set, make sure the flight director is set. Heading, vertical speed down 600 feet per minute. Altitude select is standing by. And I'm making my turn down. This is really great. Start bringing this down a little bit in power. Power is uh, coming back down. R Flight director is commanding a rollout, and we're 200 feet within our selected altitude, 6,000 feet. So we should be able to capture this here just uh, just a second. Now I'm hand flying all of this, and I'm commanding using the buttonology on the guidance panel reading my scoreboard, and I can basically tell you exactly what the airplane or the flight director is trying to take me. So understanding and reading this up here is really, really important for really getting good uh, understanding where the autopilot's taking you or what your autopilot or flight director is going to command you to do next. So flying an approach or whatnot is really important. Cool. So let's say here uh, I'm going to fly heading 270 at the moment. I'm going to turn heading 270. Follow this. And now I'm going to go direct to the Kankakee VOR. So I'm going to go over to my flight plan, go direct to Kankakee. Air traffic control, let's say, it says proceed direct to Kankakee VOR. I can go ahead, go direct to, enter, enter. Our needle starts to turn, and I'm in heading mode. So this is going to roll me over in heading mode, but it's not going to follow our GPS course right here. So what I have to do is go on the guidance panel, hit nav, and that's going to go into the selected GPS mode. And now you can see the flight director is going to try to line me up and keep this pink center needle uh, completely squared up. And it's going to put the green bullseye through the center of these boxes to keep us on course. It'll automatically sequence us to our next uh, position uh, as we go, uh, uh, our next fix in our flight plan. 
which is pretty cool. Great, so let's say I get pulled off my course, and air traffic control says for traffic, fly heading 270. So I'm going to go into heading 270, start following that. And I'm going to come out here for a little bit. Now, what another cool feature is, is that we can do, like, uh, if air traffic control ever says, fly heading 270 and intercept uh, the final approach course, or fly heading 270 and intercept Victor, uh, Victor Airway or something like that, we can set up our flight director to, 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 to follow those, those cues rather than uh, uh, us just kind of flying and then uh, going hitting direct two or something like that. So let's say air traffic control says fly heading 090. And we're going to intercept our previously selected course. So I'm going to turn to 090. And now he says intercept. So I'm going to go ahead and hit nav. So heading is going to auto, or the flight director is going to turn me to heading 090. And then we're going to have, uh, when I get to my course, our needle here, uh, GPS is going to kick out and go active. And then the flight director is going to follow our course from here on out. So we'll see that here in just a second. Now, I've been hand flying this entire time and controlling the flight director and getting it to do what I want. The cool thing is, all I have to do, oops, let me turn to 030 and get a better intercept angle here. As I get closer to our course, our needle's coming here, I should see GPS kick out or kick heading out, and uh, this will start to follow us there. A little bit better job of holding my altitude. There we go. Good. Now we're just standing by. There's GPS is kicked on. Flight director's commanding a turn to the left. Now it's intercepting, and its its goal is now to put this green bullseye right through the center of the boxes. Follow the flight director, choose the turn, there we go. That looks great. Cool. Now the cool thing is, I've been hand flying this entire time. If I want to actually make uh, some progress and give my hand a break, I can hit AP on the autopilot or the guidance panel in the center council, and now AP comes on. And the autopilot's following exactly what's programmed in the flight director. Vertical track. Now, the cool thing is, previously, uh, for another video, we'll set up our uh, we set up our uh, uh, vertical nav to do something pretty cool. So I just armed vertical path on uh, uh, on our uh, guidance panel. See, vertical path is set up, and when this little glide slope carrot comes down and hits and centers, uh, vertical path will actually initiate a descent for us and uh, start bringing us, uh, the autopilot will bring us down. We have different altitudes and a couple different fixes along the route that we're trying to hit and bring us down to traffic pattern altitude. So the cool thing is I could turn the autopilot off by hitting the AP button and it leaves the flight, it leaves the leaves the flight director up, and all I, now I'm just hand flying following the flight director, which is cool. There goes the vertical path. I could take a little power out now to start my descent. And it's just going to follow to hit the different fixes that we have programmed in at uh, our different altitudes and, uh, and there. So for right now, that's enough for, for uh, the moment, but I'm going to turn the autopilot back off and sign off. This is Al from Simple Flight. See you later.